Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. It's a noble profession, but a tough one as well. But what would we do without our men and women in blue? You can be one of them. Toledo Police Sergeant Lourdes Roca joins us this morning with how. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you have a testing uh, that's coming up that we want to make people aware of. So now is the time if you've really been thinking, I want to get into law enforcement. I want to be a police officer. I want to serve and protect my city. Um, this is the time to get signed up for that. Tell us about this test that's coming up. Yeah, so we have a special test day, uh, July 23rd. Um, our testing's open um, during the whole uh, recruitment process, but because we use a third party for the test, there is a fee. Uh, so we do host certain tests that we will cover the fee for applicants that are interested, and um, we will cover the fee. They come, there is no study material required. It's an aptitude test, so they can sign up, go to tpdhire.com, and the information's on there for the test date. And there's something at the <laughs> UTMC campus on the 23rd, is that right? Yes, yep, that's where we're hosting the test. Um, we, we provide all the materials that the candidates need, and all they need is a photo ID, um, minimum age of 20 years old, and no older than 39 by August 20th. Um, that's our age uh, requirements. Um, either have to have a GED or high school diploma and a valid driver's license. So you have the aptitude test. You don't need to study for that. They just want to, you know, see see where you are. But then there is another portion of this, and that's the physical fitness test. And that's kind of tough for some people, isn't it? Yes. You know, if, if somebody's working towards that goal to pass the requirements, it's very doable. Uh, we get a lot of people that come in. Uh, to some of our informational sessions that we host um, just to kind of let them know our specific benefits that we offer and they look at our requirements and they say oh that looks that looks easy I can do that um, but they haven't done a sit-up or a push-up in the last however many years mm -hmm. or months so it is important we have been um, off also uh, offering uh, practice fitness tests uh, to let them know where they're at and so they know what to work on what they need to work on for that for that portion you know, because we want them to do well we want them to pass this and sometimes you might need to practice a little bit first because yeah I know that it it's been maybe a minute since I, you know I've done right. the push-ups um, and so you think you might be able to do it but it, it's good to, to get a heads up and and uh, get some practice in on that uh, so for people you know they they taken the test both the fitness and the aptitude test um, but, you know, what is it like to be a police officer in the city of Toledo? Um, you know, it's challenging but rewarding at the same time. I think we've come a long way to show the appreciation of officers. Um, we had a great contract that just passed this last, uh, this last year. Um, we have competitive wages. Our benefit package is um, outstanding, which I don't think we get to... Um, we don't get to get that point across. We have 100% tuition reimbursement um, as long as you get, you know, past your uh, accredited college course with the city. The city will reimburse you um, for whatever degree you're looking for. Um, our insurance, we have health insurance benefits. Um, I know, and I know everyone's hiring right now, but this this is a great career to get into. Uh, we offer a retirement pension and things that maybe people don't think about in the future, uh, but as you get older, you start thinking about the things that are important uh, if, you know, for retirement and benefits and whatnot. Right, and as you mentioned, you know, a lot of people are hiring right now. Recruitment is a little challenging, um, but as you mentioned, there are a lot of perks and you have that new contract uh, that'll hopefully help you get the numbers out that you, that you all need. Yes, we're hoping so. And we're hoping, we've been hosting a lot of recruitment events um, and we get a lot of people that come out um, that are interested, but honestly, we, from the list that we get from people that test, our fitness, um, our fitness test is 50% failure rate. So that's why we've been trying to host these um, events, encouraging people to come out and um, use us for what we have to offer in order to help them get to the next step of the background process and then get to the interview and then get to the academy so they can get hired. Right, and as you mentioned, you know, that 100% tuition reimbursement, you know, you can have that high school degree or that GED and start this career and then, you know, get your education and not have to worry about the cost of that. And as you mentioned, it's also a very rewarding career as well. Yes, and just to mention also, you know, people wonder, 
Uh, we, our academy is six months long. It is a paid trained academy. Um, they start out, uh, cadets start at, out for next year will be 2780 an hour. It's Monday through Friday. Um, they train you with for everything that you need to know. Um, and by the time you're ready to hit the street, you're prepared with the intense training that we that we give to the cadets. You'll be ready to go. All right, Sergeant, for people who are interested in getting signed up for this test, uh, where do they go? tpdhire.com. There's an easy button. Uh, there's an easy link there that you click the button that is very clear. It says, um, I want to sign up for the July 23rd test. Um, there's also a phone number that they can call us, 419-245-1075. Uh, or the number you guys have displayed, they can text that that number and we will answer any questions or concerns that they may have. Very good, Sergeant. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yep, take care.